So we've got the robot. It's able to move. It has the potential to do almost anything a human can do. So now we make it do everything a human can do using a teleoperation system. And what this consists of is a human puts on an array of different technological artifacts. It could be an exosuit, but it could be something as simple as hand controllers or even a keyboard mouse interface. And with UI advancements and very clever control techniques, you can make the robot move in a way that's perfectly analogous to what the human is doing. When the pilot's head moves, the robot's head moves, and you get this really immersive experience that you are actually the robot. I had a really interesting experience once where I was doing this for several days, and then I actually had a dream that I was the robot. Like, I was dreaming that I was no longer in my physical human body, but my brain was now in the robot body. Our minds are very malleable. They're very open and accepting to new experiences. But what's going on in virtual reality is that this kind of stuff is now being commoditized. So all the technology and all the, all the, the, the dollars that are going into VR technology to make these really immersive, real-life experiences in VR can also be transferred over to this robot technology. So imagine you walk into a retail store, and you're greeted by a synth. And that synth knows who you are, because you've been in there before, and robots can have an eidetic memory. Or imagine that you walk into a doctor's office, and you need to see a physician, and you're now seeing a robot physician. So that robot can provide to you, it can have all your medical history, it can provide you with a physical exam because it's a physical robot, and because it's got that human social interaction touch, it can also provide services such as counseling and therapy 